Hi there, this is section 5.4. This is counting and combinatorics. So this is when counting gets hard. Usually counting is the very first thing you learn in math and it's super easy, but in section 5.4, the number of the ways of counting becomes rather complicated. So here's one example. This is the license plate problem. Um, and the question is, how many different license plates can the state of California issue, assuming that the license plates look like this? I got this off the internet. I'm sure someone in California is like, that's not what they look like anymore, but just let's just go with this example. So the trick to answering this question is you notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different slots, like spaces that these, um, you know, numbers and letters have to fill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they go number, letter, 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 number, number, number. So in this case, if you pick something, I'm going to sort of make a little pot. Combinatorics, they always talk about urns, urns urns, mathematical urns. There are these pots that contain the various numbers or letters and you're drawing things out of them. So in this case, this urn contains the digits one, two, three, oops, zero. You could put zero in the license plate. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Notice I can't put 10 because 10 would take up two places. So it's zero through nine, but that makes 10 total choices. So in this case, for the first space, so there's numbers here. There's 10 possible digits, numbers that can go there. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The letters, you could imagine an alphabet urn. Only mathematicians would have an alphabet urn. A, B, C, urn. It's like a vase. Often we talk about it in funerals, which might be how you feel right now. So here's A, B, C. So now for the letters, etc. We have 26 letters of the alphabet. 